What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duo video. This is your boy Payne and I didn't want to do this but you guys have been requesting it on so many damn comments so here we are. So I guess some of you have seen the account uh, and are interested in spending in this game so I'm gonna start off by saying I don't recommend you do it. I don't recommend anybody spend on pixels unless you can refund this money somehow or recoup it somehow I should say. Not refund it, sorry. Um, at the end of the day, remember it's just a game. You're out of this, out of pocket at this point if you do it. But it's your money. A lot of people have expendable income, and they enjoy spending on gotchas. And I can totally understand the appeal. So I'll go ahead and explain the best ways to do it, with the best bang for your buck, uh, and how you want to make sure that you don't spend it on the wrong things. Uh, and they're going to be something called poison packs. Okay. Now, if you don't know what a poison pack is. Um, it's pretty much a pack that pops up when you meet a certain criteria. I'm going to go over, over every single criteria to make one pop up. I'm going to try to get all of them. If I forget some, please correct me in the comment section. There's quite a few ways to do it. But these poison packs for a Canadian, for example, start at $32.99, $64.99, and I think it's $100. Maybe it's $125.99, $129.99. Anyways. Something ridiculous, right? And the reason why it's called the poison packs is get you, you get to choose your poison. First off, you pick the price, then you get to pick three different uh, sections of items. Uh, for the first one, I believe you can choose like boost stones, uh, you can choose faith gems. Uh, so depending where you are in, in progression, uh, you can choose um, purple orbs, uh, sorry, purple stones, legendary stones, etc. Right? Uh, vehicles, car vehicles, uh, if you have those already unlocked. Uh, and then the second one, you can pick between the factional tokens, the uh, divination tokens, or then uh, an obscene amount of blue cards in order to get your bees up, which we're, we'll talk about which ones to choose there. And then the last one, again, if I'm recalling correctly, is uh, a, a lot of 24-hour money, a lot of 24-hour breakstones, or a lot of 24-hour player EXP. That is the only place you should spend money outside of specific events okay so I'm gonna go into the perks section here um, the exp move pack worth it I was buying those for a while so that's definitely worth it the grants are worth it I picked those up a while ago the only ones I don't recommend doing is the dual grant as a, as a whale because you'll probably never be dueling it just takes too much time but the royal grant is not worth it either I would do the heroic grant and the crusader grant those two are definitely worth it bought those like from the day one traveler perks definitely worth it uh, the amount of diamonds you get are obscene especially if you're gonna whale definitely get these traveler packs okay and then the premium fund same scenario get those as well too because it's $26.99 for a Canadian for one of these packs and you get an obscene amount of diamonds okay so these are very much worth it so if you're whaling from the perk section that's what you want to get okay now the exp move pack the grants the two I mentioned the travelers packs and the premium funds so very good to purchase all right the other place you want to get in the mall is when it happens the monthly cards definitely get the monthly cards uh, these are 100% worth it and as you progress they add in additional perks for you to get so this is probably the best bang for your buck in order to spend and get back our ROI, ROI. So if you don't know what ROI is, that's return on investment, okay? So these are probably some of the best packages. Now growth gift packs are actually really good as well. There's gonna be featured characters that come out, right? And as they come out, you're gonna get free prizes and alongside of that, you're gonna get these packages. Some of these packages are actually very much worth it because of what they offer. Again, if you're whaling, this is something you might wanna consider. So this is an easy way to stock up on, on tokens, on gear, on uh, vehicle parts or workshop tokens, I should say, faith gems, the actual carrots themselves. Uh, the actual carrots themselves are usually not worth getting. It's way too expensive. You can usually get uh, the summons and just summon and get a ton of resources. But this is also a really good place. Um, these ones here, I would avoid just because you can. Like this one, I bought because I was a rookie back in the day. But you can you can get these things pretty easily throughout the game. So definitely do not buy these. Avoid the legendary packages. They're pretty much a uh, scumbag move by the company to get more money, all right? Limited packs, they're actually really good. So those ones I bought when they were out, uh, this one's actually really good too, to be quite honest. If you're going to spend the money, you get yourself a free character, a ton of blue cards, um, blue stones, and some diamonds. So actually a really good package, to be quite honest, for a whale. Uh, again, I don't recommend buying any of this stuff, guys, but this is what we're looking at, right? And then, like I said, the best packages to get are the poison packs. Now, what? how do you pop them up, right? A couple of different ways. Number one, as you play the game, the higher level you get, 
you're gonna get some some poison packs pop up okay so it's, i believe it's like level 20 40 50 60 etc whatever the case may be through leveling you will get them also Every week when you finish, finish your, your weeklies, you'll also get a pop-up saying, congratulations, you finished your weeklies, come spend some money with us. That's another way to pop up those packages, all right? Another great way to do it, of course, is through the actual progression of the storyline. As you finish a whole world, every single world you finish, or every single stage you finish, you're gonna get yourself, at, after the 40 level, you'll get yourself a pop-up of the poison packs. All right, so again, those are the best packages you can go with. Uh, and then another way to pop up the poison packs, if you're now stuck, is going to do it through the uh, Supreme Fist. As you go through the tower, it'll pop up as well. And as you do the faction towers, every 20 or 40 levels, they pop up as well too. So you'll be seeing those pretty often in these towers popping up. So don't worry if you're like, oh my God, the poison pack's not here. I can't throw some more money at these guys. I promise you, you're gonna get a ton of them. All right, global operations, you're actually going to get them popping up every single time you finish these global ones. Uh, most of them will pop up a, a packet saying, congrats, you finished it, spend some more money, right? That'll happen, inverse world. You'll get every single one of these you finish completed. Uh, once you complete them, you'll get yourself uh, the poison packs as well. So another great way to pop them up if you're looking to spend some money. Um, I believe that might be the only ways that I have remembered getting them. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else here. Hmm. Limit breaks, no. EX moves, no. No. Nothing from the arena section that makes them pop up. Uh, that might be it. That might. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. So those are the poison packs that you'll see. Uh, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have an example of what it looks like, but you'll see it again. It's a, it's three options. You'll get 32.99 for Canadians, 64.99, and then 129.99, and you get to pick three items. The, those are the best bang for your buck. Do not buy anything from the mall. That's from the growth gift pack, or sorry, from the from the gift pack section. Okay, unless you unless it's like a hammer event, right? Like this. These are pretty good because you get the free event hammers. But once these events are gone, don't purchase anything from here. It's really really not worth it. None of the weeklies or monthly are worth it either. Just so you guys are aware, uh, none of this is worth it. Don't buy anything. This I bought like in the beginning of the month because the first first vehicles when they first came out. Same, and this one I bought in the beginning of the month because I didn't know any better. But uh, this is. I mean, this one's okay as a whale because EX moves are really powerful, but again, it's a pretty big ripoff, guys. It's a lot of money, so I'm hoping new packages will come out in the future in order to help you guys get the best bang for your buck. Again, I'm going to say it again, guys. Uh, whaling is a double-edged sword. You will progress quicker, but I'm going to explain what a whale does. A whale pays a lot of money to get to a point to play less. We play less because we pay more. It's for convenience. Now, again, unless you understand what you're doing uh, in the game and where you'll get stuck, I don't recommend doing it. Watch my, my account video. I'll fully, it fully explains the, the hard paywall that you'll get stuck in as well. Uh, even the people who are max level right now and pay $40,000, $50,000 are currently stuck and doing nothing. So before you wail, please be smart about your money and know what you're doing with your money and know what yourself, you're getting yourself into financially, right? All right, guys, that's my uh, whale video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I hope this was helpful. But again, you have my disclaimer, you know what I'm saying. So hope you guys take it to heart. All right, guys, this is Payne. See you guys in the next video.